Hey everybody, it's Alessandro from Innovate with Impact, hashtag small relief. I'm here with Selma today. Hi yeah, Selma. Hello Alessandro, happy to be here with you. I'm so happy that you took the time and uh, super honored and uh, it's, I'm looking forward to the next minutes for our discussion. So just as a very brief introduction, Selma and I have known each other for a little bit more than a year right now. We met through InnoSwiss and I am so happy to be here with you today because I have been so impressed with your work ethic and all the things that you have been doing. In my opinion, and I always, I've been always very open about this, you are a true entrepreneur, a go-getter. Not only do you have a startup, but you also have a family and um, you do everything all at once. And so I'm really excited about this discussion. And um, so, but before we get started, you know, please quickly introduce yourself. What have you been up to? Well, thank you for these kind of welcoming words. Um, I help people self-market themselves. Um, specifically, I help um, job seekers um, write compelling CVs and present themselves on uh, social media to take their next career leap. And that, I would say, is a super important task, I would probably say even more than ever, right? So. What are some of the current challenges that you see people are encountering and maybe what's some of the key advice that you have? And then obviously I would also love to talk a little bit more about your e-learning experience, the platform that you're currently building. Sure. Well, um, things got a bit rattled up with um, coronavirus. I mean, it, it's kind of obvious that the job market is going to change um, drastically. It's not, I believe it's not going to get easier for um, applicants because a lot of people will lose their jobs. Um, but for me, this kind of releases a sort of paradigm shift of how we um, try to, you know, go about our job search. Mm -hmm. I really, really hope that with this kind of break that Corona brought us, um, people will start thinking, okay, what do I want in life and what do I want from my job? And that they start not going after, you know, what they think is right for them, but what they really, really want. Mm -hmm. And I think the challenge is to reflect this in your, um, in your CV, in your cover letter, in the way uh, you're trying to find a new job. If you're, using um you know the the normal way of you know you see an ad a job ad and then you send your cv you're amongst 100 200 other applicants your chances are so small that you're going to get the job and they like a lot of job seekers don't realize that 60 percent of the jobs are you know spread through um i call it the 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 covered network like connections and with social media and um, the digital networks, you have a, a lot more opportunities to actually make an impact and uh, get the attention from recruiters. There are amazing startups, for example, like Lionstep, um, who filter through all the digital data and find you. So it's a lot nicer if you're not actually a job seeker but you know companies find you because you post interesting stuff you show your expertise you really work on your personal brand mm -hmm. personal brand is not only for companies it's because you as a job seeker you're you're a company for yourself so you have to um, showcase and display your company, your expertise, and this is how people find you. And I think the job seekers who realize that they have to try new things, different things, um, they will succeed after you know this pandemic, when there's a lot of um, competition on the job market, this is the way to go. I mean, the points that you're bringing up right now are so super relevant and so important. I, you know, I cannot agree more with you. I think it's extremely essential that we are looking at ourselves as a brand and that we are really putting emphasis on, on the skills that we have. And you 
we have to represent ourselves. I mean, what I see very often is that people kind of like miss this opportunity of actually, you know, you know, stating who they are and what they're great at. And so, of course, you know, if you're not if you're not talking about yourself, then who will? So personal branding, I think, is extremely, extremely essential. Um, how do you help somebody define their personal brand? Are there some steps that they can take? Is there any advice that you can give? Obviously working with you, but maybe there's something as an introduction that we can talk about. You know, I would even take it a step further um, than saying it's about skills and showcasing your skills. Because at the end of the day, skills, let's be honest, they're completely replaceable. It's, um, I really, really love Simon Sinek with his golden circle, who starts with the why. So um, you have so many applicants who um, have a specific skill set, and they all have the same skill set, and pretty much, you know, at the same level, but their how and their why is extremely different. And if you manage to actually, um, get your message across why you're a marketing assistant or why you're a financial controller. This gives you a whole nother dynamic and a lot more opportunities than if you just say, okay, I'm a financial controller. Mm -hmm. So I really try with my clients. I really try to start way earlier and do kind of a self reflection about why you are doing what you're doing professionally. It's not about what you can do, why you can do it. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's very important from a self-marketing aspect to um, highlight your, your successes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, there's so many products who do the same thing. Let's say a toothpaste, you have, I don't know, 20 different toothpaste brands but you really want to know what is so different and what did you achieve? Is this toothpaste going to make your teeth really bright? And is there social proof that it really works? Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of a combination of finding out why you do what you do, how you do what you do, and then what you actually do. You know, super great uh, input and, and, and feedback for the people out there. Do you feel like the people that you're talking to, and obviously, especially in these times, there must be quite a few people coming your way asking for advice. Do you feel like people are comfortable with this? Do people like to talk about their personal brand? Or is it very uncomfortable for them? It's, I'm very blessed and I really, really appreciate these people that come to me. Um, it has to do with a lot of confidence. It's very hard to pick a coach or you know, to pick an offer online. You don't know the person, you don't really know how this person works. And, um, and this is a reason why I really like to display on my website a lot of customer feedback and a lot of my work because I want people to know um, what they can expect. Mm -hmm. Not blah, 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 it's really, you know, I, I try really to um, transform them. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy to get my um, coaches to give me feedback and tell me that I get them to a complete new approach. Like they, I, I, the work with me, the coaching with me um, is kind of like a renovation. They didn't even know what their strengths are, what their talents are. They didn't even realize what successes they achieved. And with my position, looking at it from the outside, they, they suddenly realize, hey, wow, I'm, 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 I'm really doing a great job. And they get a lot more confident. And as soon as you get into the job application process with a lot more confidence, you you handle it differently. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is mindset and with really nice, um, you know, CVs and a nice um, approach, you get into this process optimistically, very positive. And even if you get um, a company who doesn't, you know, who sends back your CV, it doesn't matter. It's like you change from, oh, I didn't get the job to, 
well, they didn't want me, so what? They're lost. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think it's also about having confidence in who you are and, you know, of course, you're not going to get every job, but um, if you are confident in who you are and you know you have a good value proposition, and like you said, your why is very clear, I have no doubt that there will always be some open doors for you in, in, in certain companies. Exactly. And, um, well, all I can say is now, as mentioned at the very beginning, you and I have worked together um, for a little bit more than a year, also from a coaching front from my side. And um, like I said, very impressed. And uh, to anybody out there who is looking, you know, for this kind of work that we're talking about, I can only highly recommend that they reach out to you, Selma, because this is uh, super important work that you're doing, especially in this time. And it's really I could not agree more. It's really right now the time to reflect and figure out what is going on in your life. And if you have lost your job, it's also about understanding how can you reposition yourself and you know, you are the perfect person to do that for them. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course. Let's, before we get to the end of the interview already, I would love to talk for just a little bit uh, or to learn a little bit more about this e-learning platform that you have been working on so hard. Well, it's not directly an e-learning platform, but I, let's say, like I started my work um, three years ago. I was a job coach um, for, you know, people struggling getting back into the job market. And then I decided, um, you know, to start my startup. And in these three years, um, I also made a journey and I got better and, and uh, you know, had findings and kind of developed a system where I know your application is going to work. Maybe it's not gonna work with every application, but the approach is a lot different. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of um, positive echo, a lot of uh, you know customers wanting to work with me. And as I'm just one person and I cannot like outsource my work, um, I decided to, um, kind of program an online course to give everything that I know, my complete knowledge into this course, because I am convinced it's a lot more sustainable if people learn how to do things or how to really self-market themselves and to write really, really great CVs rather than me writing them. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, I can do that. It's, it's, you know, it's no problem, but it's a lot more. To me, it's sharing is caring. I, if the more you know, the more you empower yourself. So this is why I, um, it, it was really um, a, a struggle and a challenge to get everything that's in my brain into an online course. And of course, um, this pandemic kind of, you know, opened up the possibility of um, you know learning new things online, which is very nice, and I really, really hope that within the next four weeks I can finally launch this course that I've been working on for the past ten months, as you know, because we had a lot of sessions on how how can I deliver the same value in an online format that I do if it if I would you know write the CV. So um, I'm very much looking forward to it. And I really, truly believe it's going to help so many people because that's my why. My why is to um, increase life quality by job seekers having the possibilities to choose what they want to do and not having to take any job just, you know, to cover life expenses. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's about increasing life quality for other people, which I call service to others. That sounds amazing. And what an incredible why to have. It's definitely um, a super important mission that you're on. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what's going to happen next uh, with all the amazing things that you do. Last question. Sure. What's the first thing you're going to be doing once you get out of the lockdown? I mean, if you know me now, and I'm sure you know the answer. Um, I guess my first thing that I'm going to do, I also um, am a very creative person and I also DJ and I've been doing this for 
over 10 years. Um, I also help other women um, learn how to DJ. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my turntables on the street with a big PA and um, yeah, listen and, and play some music because this is something um, I'm really missing is this getting together with other people who, who really enjoy um, nice music and having a great party. I will be there. We'll, we'll, we'll celebrate together. I cannot <laughs> wait for it. What will you do? Good question. There's so many things that I will be doing. Um, one thing is I will definitely, what I miss very much is, uh, you know, the kind of like physical contact with people. So I cannot wait to, you know, give hugs again and be close to people. Uh, I think, you know, we're all human beings and I kind of crave this, you know, this contact, um, not just keeping the distance. It's kind of awkward, right? You should um, get a cat. It really helps. Sorry, what? <laughs> You should get a cat. It really yes. helps. <laughs> hey, I, I'm married, so it, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, but that's a good one too. Uh, and, and the other thing that I will do for sure is, um, you know, get out even more often and maybe, you know, go on a little trip or something. I, I, I like to travel. It doesn't have to be far, but, you know, maybe go, go somewhere a little bit and also be, be out just much more than I'm right now. Yeah, maybe it's the time to um, discover Switzerland. Exactly. I think so too. I think so. There's a lot of, you know, talking about opportunities. I think every country, every place right now has an opportunity to also reinvent itself. So I'm, I'm very curious to see how that's going to affect everything. But Selma, that's the end of our interview. I'm super excited that we got to do this together. Thank you so much again. Um, also a little shout out to Inno Swiss. Um, I'm very grateful uh, through Inno Swiss you and I met and uh, for that, I'll be definitely eternally grateful. And I cannot wait to see you again once the lockdown is over and otherwise just digitally like this. It's always great to see you. Thank you again. Hashtag me too. Thank you so much, Alessandro. See you soon. See you soon. Ciao. Bye.